Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Picking up from where we last left off, talking about the Sig Cross, got the Athlon Optics here. If you remember, we had some things to talk about. Got a lot of ground to cover. Got some things to discuss on this and my thoughts on this scope. Stick around. All right, fellas. So, you remember me having a SIG Cross? I've been shooting it for a couple of videos. Um, I had the Trijicon 1x4 AccuPoint. Nice optic. Actually, Trijicon is probably one of my favorites. I have four of their optics, so they probably should be. Anyway, so after shooting it for a while, I decided I need to put on something a little bit more dedicated for a precision rifle versus this little guy. Well, I forgot. I had this lying around. Well, I couldn't remember why, and then it hit me when I started playing with it. The power ring was real tight. So I said, well, let's send it back to Athlon and see if they can, you know, make sure everything's cool and spec with it before I put it on this. So, put in this nifty little box. And I want to point out, this is a very nice box. It's got a lot of hard foam on the inside, as you can see. Magnetic. Keeps it nice and closed. It's great for shipping, by the way. I don't notice that this is a good box if you need to ship something repeatedly in here. Anyway, so I decided to ship this Athlon Argos BTR 6x24x50 scope back to the manufacturer. Have them, you know, take a look at it. They sent it back. Cool, everything's fixed, right? Should be. Well, put it on Sid Cross, took it out to go shooting, and well, this session wasn't all that great, to just put it mildly. I noticed that there appeared to be some warping around the edge of the picture. I, I can't really explain it in a way, and almost like the picture, not concaves, but convex is out or inwards. I guess you could say convex is inward towards you versus convex, which is outward. Anyways, so I noticed that and the picture was blurry once you turn the power up from six power up to close to like 16 to 24. Picture got extremely blurry. I, I don't know if that's normal for a scope like this. I'm not really sure, but it's not something you know that you need to be seeing especially if you need to make precision shots i really had a lot of high hopes for the scope as i said it's a six by 24 um, by 50 millimeter objective at first focal plane if you look to the side you can see that there is a nice christmas tree reticle which are i really like those i think those are cool and that's one of the biggest selling points um thanks to sterilite pro that has all these cool things anyways so the picture just it was awful you know but then again they are packing a lot of features into a semi-budget scope in a 500 hundred dollar price range but at the same time i mean that's a lot of features in the 500 hundred dollar price range that you're putting into a scope from the illuminated uh illuminated reticle first focal plane you have six by 24 you have a side um focus ring here and i do want to point out that this thing i don't know it's weird seems like it's in one spot it might be tight and in another spot it's not so tight anyways i'm going to be sending this back on the second go around i don't know i may just tell them hey man y'all just keep this thing this this is starting to get too frustrating for me i'll do a follow-up hopefully athlon optics may do something with it i don't know if they do, they do, and if they don't, they don't. All right, if you like what you've seen, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button right there, and I will do a follow-up. All right, thanks, guys. See y'all around.